In the last video, while we were comparing a PLC to a PC, we discussed that a PLC is comprised of a power supply, a CPU, a memory card, a communication card, input and output cards. In this video, I will briefly explain the purpose of each module in a PLC. The input modules can be further categorized into digital and analog input module, while the output modules similarly can be categorized into digital output and analog output modules. First, let's talk about power supply module, the purpose of a power supply module. The purpose of power supply module in a PLC is to convert AC voltage to DC voltage. Normally, a PLC CPU requires DC voltage for its operation. So the power supply serves their purpose to convert AC voltage to DC voltage, right? Normally, we provide 220 volt AC voltage to a power supply and the power supply converts that AC voltage to 24 volt DC. And uh, this 24 volt DC is then supplied to the CPU. Next, next up is the CPU module. A CPU module, as discussed previously, has processor and it processes the data stored in the memory card and based on the program instructions, that raw data is processed. A CPU module has a slot for the memory card. So the PLC memory card is actually inserted onto this slot, right? Next up is the communication module. The purpose of the communication module is to send data from the PLC memory to a network or, or to receive the data from the uh, network and store it into the PLC memory. It has an Ethernet port or uh, it can have a serial port, for example, a Profibus port for Profibus communication or an Ethernet port for Ethernet data communication. Digital input cards are used for interfacing those sensors to the PLC that send digital data to the PLC right uh, sensors like switches limit switch temperature switch pressure switch all these switches send digital da data to a plc right this the data that send is either 0 volt or 24 volt in a plc right so these sensors are actually interfaced with digital input cards those sensors that send analog data to a PLC, for example, uh, temperature sensors that send data in a typical range, uh, for example, uh, 0 to 1500 degrees centigrade, that data is transformed to analog electronic, uh, electrical analog signals, for example, 4 to 20 milliampere. And these sensors are interfaced with analog input cards of a PLC. Digital output cards are used for interfacing those devices that require digital data for its operation. For example, 0 volt or 24 volt. A 0 volt means no command is being issued by the digital output card to a device. For example, uh, an electrical motor while 24 volt means that an on command has been issued to an electrical motor and that motor will start operating, right? So those electrical machines that require digital data for its operation are, inter are interfaced with digital output modules of a PLC. Analog output modules are used for connecting those my, uh, devices that require analog data for its operation. For example, 
valve those valves that require continuous uh, continuous time data are uh, continuous data for example uh, to open a valve between 0 and 100 percent analog data is required and that is normally in the form of 420 milliampere dc right 4 milliampere is issued from the analog output card in the case the valve is supposed to be 0 percent open right and 20 milliampere is issued by the analog output card of the plc in that case the wall will be open 100 percent right and any data in between will correspond to the percentage opening of a valve right so uh, this is how uh, each module has its own purpose and this is how each module in the plc work right so if you have any question, uh, you can ask me in the comment section. In the next video, I will try to demonstrate. I will try to show you the uh, Simmons or Allen Bradley PLC in working so that you can actually have a look at each module of a, a PLC. So see you in the next video.